as it's fairly easy to recover data deleted from a hard drive, you should never presume that because you've placed a file in the Windows bin or even formatted a drive that that file cannot be restored. So if you intend to sell, give away or lend someone a hard drive, you should always consider performing something called a secure wipe first. A secure wipe is when the whole of a hard drive is overwritten multiple times with random or unknown data. So in this video, we're going to demonstrate how you can perform a secure wipe on a hard drive using Windows. For our example, we've taken a hard drive from an old computer. So the first thing we need to do is find some way to connect this hard drive to Windows. While we could use a USB external hard drive enclosure, for convenience, we've decided to use a USB 4-bay hard drive docking station. First, we need to log into Windows using our administrator's credentials. If we now plug our hard drive into our docking station and then connect the dock to our computer, when we power up the docking station, if Windows is able to read the format of the drive, it will automatically mount that drive, assign it with a drive letter, and display it in File Explorer. However, as the drive in this example did not come from a Windows computer, Windows does not recognize the format of the drive. So currently, our drive is not being displayed in File Explorer. In order for Windows to be able to see our drive, we're going to need to initialize the drive. To do this, if we right click on the Start button, a quick menu will appear. Now from the menu, we need to select the option Disk Management. Within Disk Management, the drive connected to our docking station should be listed. However, it can be difficult to spot. As you can see here, Disk 0 is the internal hard drive being used by our Windows computer. We know this because this drive contains a partition called C, and C drive is usually the default location where Windows is installed. This means that on our computer, this one is the hard drive connected to our docking station. So in order for Windows to be able to see Disk 1, we will need to initialize it. To do this, if we select Disk 1, and then click the right button on our mouse, a quick menu will be displayed. From within the quick menu, we first need to select Delete Volume. We are now warned that the selected partition was not created by Windows, and that there may be data that can be read from other computers that will be lost. Let's select Yes. As the hard drive in our docking station is still not viewable by our computer, we now need to right click on Disk 1 for a second time, and then from the quick menu choose New Simple Volume. A wizard will appear, so if we select Next, we are prompted to specify a volume size. As this needs to be the whole of our hard drive, we will simply select Next. We're now asked to assign a drive letter or path, so we need to make a mental note of the drive letter that our drive has been assigned with. After clicking Next, we're asked which format we wish to use. While it's not important as to which format we use, we do need to make a note of what the volume label is. To make this easier later on, let's change the volume label from New Volume to Untitled. When we select Next and then Finish, our hard drive is formatted and Windows will be able to mount the drive. However, let's confirm this by once again opening File Explorer. As you can see, we now have a drive called Untitled assigned to the drive letter of F. We're now ready to perform a secure wipe on this drive. However, in order to do this, we will need to revert to a command prompt. If we select Search and then type CMD, the Windows command prompt application will be listed. When we press Enter on our keyboard, a command prompt will open. Now from the flashing insertion point, if we type format F colon, which will instruct our computer to format F drive, and then forward slash P colon three to instruct our computer to pass random data over our hard drive three times. When we press enter on our keyboard, 
we're prompted to enter the current volume label for F drive. After typing untitled and then pressing enter on our keyboard, Windows will ask us to confirm that we wish to format F drive. When we press the Y key on our keyboard, the secure wipe will begin. As performing a secure wipe will take a considerable amount of time, even though this drive is relatively small, it still took roughly five hours to complete a secure wipe. Once the wipe has been completed, we're asked to give the drive volume a label, so we're going to reuse Untitled. When we press Enter on our keyboard, we're informed that Windows has completed a format of our drive, so we can now close the command prompt and disconnect our securely wiped hard drive from our computer. To do this, we simply need to power down our docking station and then wait until the platters in our hard drive have stopped spinning before we remove the drive. 